course, like every book, it's a con uh, executive summary introduction. Then we present an overview of the current policy landscape for green financing in Pakistan. And then we provide the process aspects of green financing in Pakistan. <clears throat> there we have the first, the current fi uh, green financing gap. Then we talk about the sources of green finance which are in place. Then we talk about common green in, uh, finance instruments. And then, most important, the challenges in the implementation of green finance in Pakistan. And from this, we, we, just, uh, we come to the policy recommendations, which are all derived from these challenges. And we also provide a way forward how to really on one put, put establish a green financing system. I will very shortly come to this in this presentation as well. It, it's very beautiful, Annex 1 really provides all the challenges and provides for every challenge the key recommendations how to overcome these challenges. And we are for sure many men here together in partnership on climate change between Germany and Pakistan to uh, go on together. And then we also uh, annex the key initiatives of selected commercial banks. So many banks already started with something like a green banking system, especially the multilateral, but also the, uh, the bigger commercial banks of Pakistan. So uh, coming to the Next slide, please. To, to the priority recommendations. The first uh, one of the priority recommendations is the establishment and implementation of a full fledged uh, green financing system, the development of an official definition for green finance and green taxonomy, which was very much discussed on this workshop, awareness campaign to cater uh, to, uh, that caters all stakeholders, and then, very central for the future, the climate risk assessment as basis of green financing needs, which factors really in the risk of climate uh, change. Then the development of a robust system of accountability and transparency, the improvement of the financial legislation and governance, and capacity building, capacity building, and capacity building and awareness raising, uh, which should start in the finance and industry. Next slide, please. The development of further tools on green finance, mainly for attracting more investment to the private sector. The development of de-risking mechanisms to protect assets and stakeholders, increase local national sources of green finance, and broaden the scope of green banking and expand the role of banks and financial institutes. And what is indeed key is tapping private sector investment uh, uh, plays a pivotal role, and as the Honorable Ambassador already pointed out, we cannot uh, really go forward without tapping private investment. 80% of investment pos uh, possibilities uh, potential is in private hands, only 20% in public hands. Next slide, please. Now, the way forward, very short, you would find it on a very beautiful um, present. Uh, um, figure in the report is a planning and pre-implementation phase, the first 6 to 12 months, then a testing and voluntary implementing phase, and then really a mandatory implementation after two years' time. And with this, I hope you have a little bit of appetite to read further, and we are very happy if you come back to us concerning questions to this recommendations and if they have an effect that they can really kick off something. Thank you very much for the attention and great all the technical things have uh, provided very well.